Hello, Namaskar. Welcome to our new session. In this session, we'll discuss about theorem related to the area of parallelogram and area of triangle. Today, today's theorem statement is parallelogram standing on same base and between the same parallel line are equal in area. Here, two parallelograms A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and A, B, E, F are standing on same base AB, standing on same base AB, and between the same parallel lines AB and EF, AB line and EF, standing on same base AB, and between the two parallel lines AB and ED. For this, we will start from given. Our given is two parallelograms ABCD and ABEF are on the same base AB and between the same parallel lines AB and D. That means AB line is parallel with D line. And our two proof is parallelogram ABCD is equal with parallelogram ABEF in area. They are equal in area. We are going to show that for this. Our construction, we draw AB perpendicular with CG. This AB line is perpendicular with CG. This is our construction. For this, let's start our proof. Here is table for proof, statement and reason. First statement is, here, area of ABCD. This area, ABCD, is equal with AB into CG. We know area of parallelogram is equal to base into height your base is equal to ab and height is equal to cg so area of parallelogram abcd is equal to ab into cg and our reason is area of parallelogram is equal to base into height similarly in next paragraph ab ef area of ab ef is equal to ab into cg where ab is equal to base and cg is equal to height CG is perpendicular with AB, then AB is base and perpendicular line CG is height of this parallelogram. Similarly, reason is area of parallelogram is equal to base into height. From statement number 1 and 2, we can write area of parallelogram ABCD is equal with area of parallelogram ABEF. Look here, area of ABCD is equal to AB into CG and also area of ABEF is equal to AB into CG. So, here, both parallelogram are equal with AB into CG. That means you can write area of ABCD is equal with area of ABEF. And reason is from statement number 1 and 2. So, here is proved. Thank you for watching the video.